That feeling when your 7.3 Check. starts on the first try and pull temps. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here. I am in the truck with my son Marshall here. We are on our way back from AutoZone. We had to grab some goodies back there for my grandfather's truck. It's, it's another day of like, I'm going to try to cram all this just into one video because I know that not everybody cares about it, but I'm going to try to replace a whole bunch of maintenance parts on that truck. It's never had since I've ever known, since I bought it for him back almost five years ago now, it's never had spark plugs replaced, the wires, distributor, front brakes, rotors, that type of stuff. So, or air filter. So I'm going to be swapping out all that little stuff. I got pretty much, I think everything I need to do a whole bunch of that maintenance because I have already tagged out pretty much in Ohio, except for I have technically three doe tags left if I want to shoot three more does in my current county that I live in, but I don't really know if I really care to fulfill that objective because we're, we're pretty good on venison now. For the most part, I'm pretty much done in Ohio, and I'm going to be making some road trips here to Indiana to try to fulfill the buck tag I have over there, and also some Pennsylvania hunting to try to fulfill the buck tag over there since I'm about two hours either direction of those places and I have opportunities to hunt in those places. So I'm gonna get the grandfather's truck ready for some road tripping here just over the next few weekends while we still don't have any snow or salt. I'm gonna try to milk being able to drive that truck in this good weather here as much as I can because I love driving it and I know that that's gonna get kind of reeled back here real soon. So we're gonna get all this stuff done so it's ready for a couple weekends of road trips and we're gonna go over some of the things that we're doing and if we have any problems, Bring them to your attention so let's get to it on another note you can still enter to win this 1997 f-250 7.3 power truck right now that also comes with five thousand dollars in cash he sure loves the truck uh super clean interior super clean exterior truck has zero rust brand new paint only 157,000 miles on it which if you know anything about these trucks that's still considered relatively low mileage because it's just kind of hard to find them, let alone people willing to sell them if they're in this good a condition. But um, anyways, guys, you want to get entered to win it right now. Every $1 is 30 entries towards winning, but the 30X entries for the launch week deal does end on Sunday, October 30th. So that's in just a few days. The launch week bonus will be over. But if you want to get in, beautiful 7.3 power stroke that comes with five grand. Still get in right now. This is our highest entry multiplier for every one dollar spent that we offer for this giveaway so get in while you can you can enter to win this power stroke right now okay so we've got the white truck in here we've got the the little marsh man he's playing we, we're trying to keep him trapped in the bed for now because the wife's not here to watch him at the moment while i do this so we've got a new air filter which i'd like to do a whole aftermarket thing but for now i don't have that on order and i need to get this done before i get to town because this air filter is super filthy air filter new brake rotors, brake pads, new STP oil, STP filter, ignition wires for the truck. I don't know, I thought it was called a distributor. And then uh, some new auto light iridium XP spark plugs for the truck with a new socket, because I don't know if I have one. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna get to doing all this stuff one by one, hopefully it's a Fairly smooth process. I have not done spark plugs or wires or whatever that distributor thing is on one of these trucks ever, but I've taken the brakes and rotors off and I put it back on and driven it for the last 10,000 miles and I haven't had a single issue. So I'm pretty sure I know how to do that the right way. The only thing I haven't done is the plugs and the wires. I don't think any of that's gonna be difficult. This should all be pretty smooth, but let's get to it and we'll fill you guys in. I don't know if there's anything to it that like could have messed. 
There's one thing I totally forgot that I did need though is the grease for the spark plug like wires to connect to the top of spark plugs. So I had to tie around and grab some of that stuff. So fingers crossed, we're gonna do start up. Again, I ain't gonna lie, kind of nervous. the thing about these here spark plugs i don't know anything about them i don't know what's considered a good spark plug or a bad one they recommended these they said oh these are great they're iridium xps you know last a lot longer more fuel efficient i don't know if there's just a bunch of bull and he didn't actually know what he was talking about either maybe he didn't but as a guy that don't know a thing about gassers i was like you know what he's the man he knows what he's talking about this guy knows his stuff because he asked if it was two or four wheel drive before he asked what spark plug so that's how you know he knew what he was talking about nothing to matter i told him what engine it was he's like yeah but it's a two or four wheel trick question doesn't matter <laughs> it's the same <laughs> engine either way he seemed like an honest guy but look at my old spark plugs let me sh let me show you these bad boys i don't i don't know what's supposed to be good and what's supposed to be bad all i'm gonna say is i think this is bad these are the rustiest looking things I've ever seen come off an engine. Oh yeah, they're pretty gross. I mean, that's disgusting. I mean, brah, look how nasty that is. So, you know, but this is from, this is the past. We're moving forward with some new Auto white iridium XPs, baby. I, mean, I don't really know if it's a good thing or not. Oh! Anyways, all my gas driving brethrens out there, just, you know, fill me in. Is this, was this a mistake? Because I really don't know. Um, I'm sure anything's better than what was in there because these things look like crap. But uh, on to the next thing. Brake pads and rotors. Let's get to it. It's a sexy tire right there. It is. You know what else is sexy? Not these brake pads. <laughs> these these. Are like about to leave the chat, dog. Oh yeah, they're pretty nasty. I'm actually gonna grab the bungee cord. You ever heard of the bungee cord trick? Nope. Me neither. You need a flathead screwdriver, some sockets. That means you get to it. <laughs> so we did get one set of the New brake pads and new rotors on. Went pretty good. The old brake pads, let me show you here. They were fairly unsafe. This one was really bad. Um, this is the back side that wasn't used on the rotor, but this is the side that was used on the rotor. Almost completely down to the main part of the brake pad there. So definitely, definitely overdue. We got the marsh again. Mom's hunting again. We got Ty with the Pepsis. Reagan, if you're wondering where they were. <laughs> no, we got, uh, we got the brakes done front and, uh, well, <laughs> only the front side. Left and right side, both swapped out. New pads, new rotors. Same caliper, though. We did not swap the caliper. We left the caliper. They seem to be holding pressure really, really well. Like I said, all new spark plugs, new wires, air filter, new oil, new oil filter. I think that's pretty much everything um, when we had to decompress the pistons there on the calipers a little bit of fluid came up out of the top of here dripped down I know it was uh, it was making a mess so uh, I checked it and it was just I think we just built up a little bit too much pressure in there when we were decompressing those and then it just overflowed a little bit but it seems to be fine but we'll take it down the road and Make sure she stops straight. And I just haven't driven the truck since we put the new spark plugs wires on. I started it, but didn't drive it. So 
Let's see how this goes. Oil pressure is reading a little bit on the higher side. It always seems to do that when I do a new oil change. It always, it always reads a little bit high until I get the truck warmed up. First time running it, I also had to add some coolant. It was a little bit low on coolant, actually. I remember having to add it about a year ago for some reason. Um, I just had to add a little bit more. It was just a little low. And then, uh, again, new plugs, wires, oil, pads, rotors. So let's see how this goes. I'm trying to get a feel for the truck to see if it seems like it's gained any power or not also because I'm real curious to know. I mean, the braking is, definitely feels way better. Oh yeah. This truck drives way better. I mean, the truck just feels, I mean, I could be crazy. I could be just like thinking this and it's not actually true, but to me, it feels like the acceleration is so much smoother, like the power delivery and the transmission even feels like it's shifting a little bit better because of the power is smoother. Like it's not having to do as much guesswork on the shift points because it, I mean, it feels really good. Like when you lay into the pedal, the power is just instantly there. I feel like before it was lagging really bad and it also just kind of felt spotty. Like I felt like for the truck being what it was supposed to be, I kind of felt like it didn't have all the power it was supposed to. Now, it's not like the truck is supposed to be like a hot rod truck of any kind, but it's a 5.9 gas. It's supposed to have a decent amount of power. Oh yeah, it definitely runs better, for sure. Okay, so I'm actually gonna do a little bit of a turnaround here. Not supposed to do this here, I think, technically, but we didn't really get any traffic out here, so I'm gonna do it anyway. And we're good. Let me do a little pull from, uh, let's say 20. Straight uphill, by the way. Man, the shift points, I'm like, I'm telling you, maybe I'm, comment below, see if like, it doesn't make any sense or if it actually makes sense that it would have smoother shift points with all new spark plugs and wires and stuff. Maybe it's just, maybe I'm crazy, but it, to me, it feels like it's got smoother shift points. Like it feels like there's so much more power. It holds RPM way more consistent and it shifts way smoother. Like that's what it feels like. So maybe, I, maybe I'm just going a little crazy, but that's the way it feels to me. It just feels so much better. I mean, it feels like night and day different. Night and day different. Like it feels way, way, way smoother power, more power. Acceleration is so much better in this thing. I had no idea, out of ignorance, and I never looked into it, I had no idea that you were supposed to replace spark plugs like on a somewhat regular basis. I think it's recommended like every 30 to 50,000 miles, at least for these older trucks. According to some forums that I looked at, guys were like, if you want best performance, best power and fuel mileage consistency, like every 30 to 50,000 miles, you should try to swap them out. I had no idea that was a thing. And this truck probably has not had them swapped out in a minimum of 30,000 miles since it was originally purchased for my grandpa. Who knows when before that. I mean, it still gets to zero to 60 in like 3.5 years, but you know, it's not supposed to be a speed demon. It's a 
it's an old stock pickup truck, but the power delivery is way more there than it was before, without a doubt. <laughs> She's almost ready for a couple straight weekends of just flat out deer hunting. Just started up the Ford for the first time today. We're gonna go and grab something to eat here. Thanks so much for watching. If you have not done so yet, remember you can enter to win this. 1997 Ford F-250, 73 power stroke, and it comes with $5,000 in cash. Somebody's gotta take that truck home and that somebody could be you for the cost of a t-shirt or a hat. Get entered to win this truck while you can. We have 30 times entries for launch week are gonna be ending here in just a couple of days. And then 30X is gonna be gone. Anyways, guys, thanks so much. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.